Okay, um, obviously that was a, uh, was a good win for our guys. Um, everybody got to play, which is um, enjoyable for me. A lot of guys on our team that work hard in the spring and put a lot of time and effort in the summer. And uh, during four weeks of preseason camp, it's good for them to be able to get out on the field, get in front of their families, uh, and, and play some college football. So um, coaches will be able to evaluate just about everybody on our team that played in the game today and um, uh, correct the mistakes that we had with, with the first group and got to take, take uh, better care of the ball. We put the ball on the ground a couple times. Uh, that disappointed me. Uh, but other than that, I thought for the most part our guys executed fairly well. And so um, it, uh, we'll be in a different situation next week, obviously playing at Arizona. Uh, so we have to have a great week of practice and uh, get back to work tomorrow night and take a day off and heavy day on Tuesday. Well, I think that uh, I, I hope that we're, we run well on defense. Uh, I th at times, I saw our guys running across the field fast, and uh, I hope that holds true throughout the season. Um, we uh, were able to function on offense at a quick pace um, with a new quarterback, uh, and uh, so I was pleased with that early in the game. Uh, I'm sure there's some other things, but uh, off right offhand, that that'd be some things that I thought uh, worked w went well for us early in the game. Well, I don't. I mean, I don't think I should have to comment on what the score was. Why not? I just think it's irrelevant at this point. I mean, just searching for something to write on. I mean, I, I'm just glad the kids went out and played hard, and we play the games that are scheduled and go on down the road. Well, you'd like to get them some more work, but there comes a point when you have to take them out. And um, we, we just feel like it's the right thing to do. Get the other kids in the field, on the field and give them a chance to play. Are you prepared? Do you feel like you're prepared for whatever criticism comes your way for what are little at 84 to nothing? I'm not going to make any other comments on that. I, I'll, John, I don't know what your goal is here. Coach Lundy, how's Coach Young? Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's doing fine. Um, He'll be back with us in, in a few days, and uh, we were glad to get his procedure taken care of and uh, then move forward. Was there a certain plan of getting West a certain amount of snaps or drives, or was it once the floor was settled, you figure it gets back up to him? What was the plan there? Well, I don't think you can really ever have that plan. We, we wanted JW to get in the game and get him some playing time, and we had that set up before the game, but then you never really know how it's going to fall. Uh, so you can't plan that far in advance, other than we wanted JW to get in there and play in the first quarter. When you pulled West, when you pulled him for a drive and had JW go in and then West went back in, was that was that something where you were as an offense think, oh, let's give JW a drive or let's put on the package that says we might have worked on with him, or was that? Yes, okay. that was what I was saying. We had a plan for that in place. Well, I thought our guys ran the ball well, and you know the competition is is uh, is you know is not what we're accustomed to, and we should have run the ball well. Did you have to do it again, Mike? Did you fidget a little more today? I, I don't want to comment on anything on Savannah State out of respect to them. Uh, I don't think it's fair for me to comment on them. Uh, the game was scheduled, and we played it, and it's irrelevant. Uh, I want to talk about things that are important, which are our team and the future, and and schedule from this point on, not necessarily anything that is related directly to them. Moving forward, do you want to moving forward? Do you want to schedule this game again? I, I, I just. I, said he wants you to schedule a tougher non-conference. Do you think it's fair to, for him to say that? I don't have any comment on scheduling, nor do I have a comment on what a booster would say about our scheduling. You mentioned. Uh,
Well, we were able to play, um, let's see, one, two, three, I think about eight or nine freshmen, I think, I'm not for sure. And we need to get those guys some work because as we get into conference play, uh, we would like to try to keep as many people as we can healthy. But, you know, we all know that guys get nicked up and you have to work other guys. And when you do that, um, you'd like to have make sure that they have some experience prior to just getting thrown into the fire. So that's that was our goal. You know, we, we're playing quite a few skill players as freshmen now. Oh, I think that, uh, you know, Lampkin and uh, Peterson, um, you know, on the defensive side, those guys probably got 40 plays. Uh, so I thought it was, it was productive for them to be in there and get some playing time uh, just to kind of get adjusted to being on a field in front of that many people. Well, I listen to uh, what's being said on the headsets, and I think that for the most part, uh, he played pretty well in what they asked him to do. Uh, got the ball where it was supposed to be and distributed it. Uh, but I, I think it's important that we all realize it, it's going to change in the next week. And uh, uh, it's hard to really say where we're at as a football team. You know, a month from now, we'll have a much better feel for kind of who we are and uh, where we're at. I mean, to be honest with you. How would you evaluate Glenn Spencer's, and not necessarily his performance, obviously, that was shut out, but more in his first game of communication with the defensive coordinator, making calls down the field, um, having control of that? How would you evaluate him? I thought he did a good job. What are the challenges, though, with that, Mike? I mean, you, one, you're down a defensive coach. Mm -hmm. Is it the mechanics of it? Is that a challenge at all? Well, anytime you lose a coach, uh, it can affect your team. Uh, we have some young coaches that have been with us for a number of years, and we have a lot of faith in them. They work hard and do a good job. Uh, but, you know, essentially we're down a coach, and we want to get him back as quick as possible, and he wants to be back as quick as possible. And there's some communication that has to take place there because for however many years now, he's been calling defenses, and that communication has to get out to the field. And so you have a new guy calling them, and then um, – once he's made those calls, um, recording what's going on in the field, there's one less guy doing that. So there's some adjustment that has to go on. Jermile Ashley is he works with them, and uh, in meetings they meet as a group with another section of defense and uh, try to work through it best we can. I think in every game where you're in that situation, um, you know, we've been in this situation several times over the last couple of years. And uh, sometimes coaches want to leave guys in to get them experience. But then at some point, um, you got to take them out no matter what. And so there's a real fine line there. I mean, you, you could talk about that forever. W would it have been beneficial for us to leave JW in and let him play 60 plays? Probably, because the only way you get better is by playing. Same thing with 84 and 85 and 8 and 15 and 2 uh, offensively. And 6 and 1 on defense and 3 on defense and 90. And uh, just leave those guys in and let them play. But uh, we've not ever done that here. We've always taken those guys out and put the other guys in and let them play. Well, we have a lot of confidence in him running our offense, but what was presented to us tonight didn't give us an opportunity to throw the ball down the field. Well, we just want him to kick it out. Is that what you're asking me? 
you know, we just want him to kick it out to, and basically eliminate them to have a chance to return it. Well, it's great. I mean, they, they work hard and they don't get the school paid for. They're out there every day, and in most cases on a demonstration squad. And uh, their moms and dads and grandparents and friends and girlfriends come to watch them play. For them to be able to get on the field and play 15, 20, 30 plays is, is a highlight for some of them uh, for their career. And, and uh, that's the one good part of us being ahead is to let everybody play. Uh, and it also saves your legs of your varsity players, and it should help you in November. Uh, so it's, it's exciting for me to see everybody get on the field and play. You know, I don't watch him like I do in practice or watching tape. Uh, I know he showed up and made some plays. He's been better mentally than most two-year guys that we've had here. And hopefully that'll continue on. You know, he falls in that category that I talked about earlier. A month from now, we'll have a much better feel for where he's at and some other guys. Last comment on Tristan Moore didn't play tonight. Suspension, one game. Right. I didn't want to play him tonight after his last incident. And so um, he'll be back with us tomorrow night. Is that good? Is that fair? Can Coach Simpson back there? Yeah. All right, thanks.